sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. In case you forgot, I just want to remind you that you're magnificent. You're amazing. You're incredible. You're so powerful. You're so potent. You could change the world with your thoughts. You know, you think 60,000 thoughts a day. So my question is, what do you focus on? Life's a result of your thoughts. So what you think and what you think about, you bring about. What are you grateful for? What do you appreciate? Do you think the world is a safe and friendly place or dangerous? You know, your answer tells you where your thoughts are focused and determines the quality of your life because you control your thoughts. So stop letting them control you. You're here to make a difference, to understand that we're all one. We all love, we all have insecurities and fear and ultimately we're not satisfied with violence, war, lack of respect for the environment. I mean, we're wondering what legacy we're going to leave for future generations. So it's time to decide to be a leader. The things you cherish, the things that scare you need your attention now. They need your unique solutions right now. Access the faith. Access the, the, the part in you that knows that you're divine, that knows that you're perfect, that knows that you're magnificent, that thinks that, that's calm, that has equipoise, that is solution-based. Most people don't know what they're doing, so they've got a lot of doubt. Doubt means you're wishy-washy, it means you don't have any faith. You gotta have faith. You are steadfast like a tree. There's nothing that can move you. You decide, your word is law, and so it is, so it will be, and so it is transformed. Your life is transformed, the planet is transformed, because you say so. You decide, you decide, if you want peace on Earth, you become the living example of peace. Peace on Earth with everything you do, everything. You're not about conflict, you're about peace. And as you're that living example, you change your own world. As you change your world, everyone around you becomes more peaceful. You can extend that like a, like a ripple, a ripple in a pond. It keeps going and going and going. So you make that decision today and you take action today. What would you like to have for Christmas? Mm, less pollution. Less pollution, okay, what else? World peace. World peace. That might be a little tough for Santa, but he can work, he's been working on that. And what else would you like to have? Mm, that's it. That's it? Just those two things? So what do you want Santa to bring you? I'm imagining that you want a united earth. You want to act now. You want to take action on what is most pressing, what's most important to you now. Born to do something. You have a life's purpose. And I don't know what it is, but I know that you were born to do something. So why is it? Why were you born? Be the change you wish to see in the world. first thing you want to do is you want to figure out what do I desire? What am I passionate about? What am I excited about? What do I want? If I were a puppy, what would have my tail going? What, what's sacred to me? What do I care about? What am I passionate about? What, what's more important to me than anything else in the whole world? It's about what, what you're going to do to change the world. What are you going to do to be a young Gandhi? I don't know. I'm not sure. But it really starts with what is it that you desire. So what you think is, what do I want, by when, and what am I going to give back? So you can decide, well, maybe it's the environment. Maybe it's recycling that's most important to you. Maybe that's really what you want to focus on. Or maybe it's the fact that two-thirds of the world makes less than $2 a day and lives in supreme poverty. And maybe that's what you really want to take on. Maybe you want to make sure that people have clean food and clean water. Maybe that's what your focus is. Maybe it's animals. I don't know what your focus is, what your passion is, but what I'd like you to do is decide today. Find other people, mastermind with others. You can recycle and take shorter showers and turn off the water while you brush your teeth. So what I'd like you to do today is take one small action towards something you're passionate about, towards your desire, your burning desire. 
your desire is on fire and I can tell. So what you're going to do is you're going to find other people who are also as passionate as you are about what you're interested in. It could be the environment. It could be clean food, eating organically. Maybe you'll want to be a farmer. Maybe you'll want to meet up with farmers or be a beekeeper. The billions of people are dying because they're hungry. Okay? So I don't know what your issue is, but I'd like you to take one action. Like they say, well, helping the world is so difficult. It's so hard and it's just a big, it's a really big task for just my little body. You're the boss of you. Your fear is not the boss of you. Fear is false evidence appearing real and most of us are fearful. You get to create a legacy. The whole world is waiting for you. Do you get that? You can't let fear stop you. You can't let doubt stop you. You can't let worry stop you. You're smart. You're beautiful. You're magnificent. You're worthy. You're loved. You're special. You're amazing. You're magnificent. You're rich. You give. You're generous. You make a difference. Because you are perfect. I want you to recognize that. You're special. You change the world because you say so. Because truly your word is law and you are needed now, not tomorrow. So I want you to make a plan. I want you to organize your plan. I want you to come together with other people. Activate your brain. Animate it. Your intention on fire. You've got a blueprint. You follow it. And you have that organized plan and you stick to it and you swatch what's working, what's not working. Now, if something's not working, don't keep doing it. But if something is working, keep going. Because what did we say? Thoughts and feelings lead to action, which creates results. What are the results that you want to create in your life? Plan for it. Plan for it and take action. A lot of people don't ever take that action. You want to take immediate action once you've got that plan. You are an activist. I see that. I see that you embrace your power. Okay, so now that you've got your plan, you need to make a decision. Here's the thing, most people don't ever decide. Time's now. It's time to use your imagination. What do you see? Imagine it's five years from now. What have you done to change the earth? If I were to tell you anything in terms of success, it would be to persist. What that means is that no matter what, no, that no matter what happens, you will keep going. You don't stop. It doesn't matter what size you are, you can do anything you want to do to help the world. And you let me know about how it's going, because I want to know and I want to see what I can do to help you to be able to change the world. And envision the world that you're going to create because you're going to take action. You're going to create that mastermind. You have the thought, the desire, the faith, the affirmations, the specialized knowledge, imagination, organized planning. You've made a decision. You've got persistence. And you've got that team around you. So you'll get together in your mastermind group maybe once a week, maybe more often. And you'll be very positive and solution oriented about what you can do. And you keep on going until you see some results. That's exactly what you're doing. And then you'll see that a small group of people indeed are the only ones that ever really do make a difference on the planet. Stop complaining, create a revolution.